Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is another exciting one for me. I get excited by them all. Um, I have quite a few products to try. I do have, I picked them up, um, some brushes from Lois Cosmetics. So I have the Face First set, these four, and the Eye Blend set and there's quite a few in there so I am going to try to use as many of these as possible today um, just so I can try them out let you know what I think so I have already primed my eyes I use the Be Perfect Perfect Prime eyeshadow priming base and the eyeshadow palette I have to use is another new to me eyeshadow palette it's from Josh Cosmetics this is the Daydreamer palette uh, Josh Cosmetics is a UK indie brand. I do have a highlighter from Josh Cosmetics, which I love. Um, I'm going to quickly pop on some lip balm because my li lips are dry. So I'm still using this Madage Beauty, the Venom Lip Plumper. I'm really enjoying this. And I have to say it's a lot better, I think, than the Too Faced lip injection one that one just seems to hurt and not do anything whereas this one has quite a strong tingle but it's not to the point that it hurts i did get a new headband in the black friday sales i'm loving it so yes the inside of this palette so this is what she looks like on the inside i'm super excited to be playing with this palette um, I have swatched it already and it did come with a, a chip out of one of them but I picked it up off off of a fellow youtuber so uh, it's all good um, so I'm first going to go in with do I want to bring purple in as well yeah I think I do so yeah I'm going to first go in with dream world which is this shade here and I'm using one of the Lois Cosmetics brushes, just a, a fluffy brush. First impressions, they feel very soft. Um, obviously, I haven't tried it on my eyes yet. Um, there is quite a bit of kick up, but that's fine. And I'm just going to start by taking this in the outer part. Here we go. And just into my lower crease. I've probably picked a brush that was a little bit too big for this, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to go with it because this is what I started with. So yeah. So, so far, this eyeshadow seems to be performing pretty good it's not the most pigmented but then i am using a more fluffy brush but it is quite densely packed um so yeah i'd say this is probably more of a buildable formula which is absolutely fine there is nothing wrong with that at all but just i do want to build this up just a bit more i've got hair going in my eye I do have obviously black in here for if I want to deepen up even more so, which I do think I will want to. Well, it looks like the rain's finally stopped outside and we have sunshine. I swear, this is the only country in the world where you can get all four seasons in a day. But you can really build these up. Well, this one, obviously I haven't tried any others yet. And purples are notably difficult to formulate and I'm not finding that this is going patchy at all. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how that's looking so far. So I am going to dip into Self Love and that again is with another one of these brushes from Lois Cosmetics. And I want to take that over the edge of the purple there. This 
showing up really nicely. I think I definitely am going to go in with the black to deepen up the outer area, but that's fine. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I'm back into Dream World. Did I actually say that that was called Dream World? I'm not sure. So back into Dream World, the purple. And I've just taken a little bit just so that I've got something to blend into that pink there. Ooh. These are blending beautifully. I'm really impressed with this purple. It works that it's a more buildable, more buildable formula. So with a much larger fluffy brush from the Lois Cosmetics collection, um, I'm going to go in with Courage and I'm just going to use that to blend out the very edges. Okay, so far I have no complaints whatsoever. It's coming along beautifully. Ooh. Okay, I am not mad at that at all. These brushes are also performing beautifully. They're super soft. Super soft. I didn't expect anything less from Lois, to be fair, because everything I have from her I love. Um, I did also pick up a couple of pairs of lashes. Um, I will more than likely try one of those pairs today because I haven't tried any of Lois's lashes yet. And uh, I don't know why. I've got all three palettes and I absolutely love all three of them. They are just such beautiful palettes and all three are so very different. There's a completely different color story, different theme. Okay, so I'm gonna take this kind of long, thin, slightly fluffy brush. <laughs> I have no idea what to call it. And I'm going into unknown, into the unknown, which is the black. And I'm just dipping my brush ever so slightly in there because I don't know how pigmented this is. I think we can, uh, we don't have to be too careful. So I'm just going to be using this to deepen up this very outer V here. Okay, this black seems nice. It's not the blackest of blacks, but it's not bad. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. I'm just going to dip into a bit more of Dream World, the purple, and just pack that on this outer area of the lid here. So I want that to be a very purple. I'm just going to dip into Unknown, the black, just a little bit. I'm just going to dot that over the purple there just to deepen it up. Okay, so with this flat brush, also from the Lowest Cosmetics set, I'm going to take some NYX Glitter Primer and do a, a faux cut crease. So I'm just going to crack on and get that done. Or will be here forever. And then using the same brush I'm going in with Sweet Dreams. I haven't actually used the uh, NYX Glitter Primer for a while. Oh 
Oh, this is nice. It's not the kind of shiniest or most metallic shimmer, but it is very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, and then just using this kind of flat but fluffy brush from the same collection, I'm going to dip into Fantasy, the purple shimmer. And I want to use this to kind of uh, go between the purple matte and the pink shimmer. Okay, this is going on nicely. From the looks of the little bit I am using, I'd say it's definitely the same formula as that pink and it would be just as easy to use all over the lid. This is so pretty. Okay, I have zero complaints. I'm just tapping into the pink there slightly. I will go back in with the pink and take that back over a little bit. Um, but this was just to kind of bridge, bridge the gap, take away the harsh line. Okay, so back in with that pink shimmer. Okay, I am, I'm loving how this is looking. So what I'm going to do is nip off and clean up and then I'll come back and we'll continue with base products. So just stay where you are. Okay, so I've cleaned up. Not that there was really much to clean up, even though I wasn't careful. So Fallout's not too bad. I was packing it on. So I think if you are, if you go in more cautiously, then yeah, I can't see why it wouldn't work without, without. By doing eyes first or doing your face first. I have no idea what I'm talking about now. I'm going to crack on. So I have this flawless color corrector primer from barry m to try it says for anti-redness pore minimizing smoothing mattifying well i don't mind mattifying because i have a luminous foundation it's actually green i don't know what i was expecting i think i've definitely taken too much as well but let's see so this is going to color correct me Oh, I really hope so. I could do with something like that. I'm trying to work out what it feels like. Um, it's really smooth feeling. Oh, it smells really florally. So yeah, if you don't like smells, I don't think you'll like it. Kind of, yeah, florally. It reminds me of potpourri. That's what I want to say, potpourri. Yeah, it does feel really nice. Has it colour corrected me? Um, I'm not sure, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Let me know. Um, my fingers are really slippery now. No. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you, does it look like it's done anything? I have no idea. Um, the foundation I have to go in with is the Body Collection Illuminating Liquid Foundation. Um, it says light to medium buildable coverage. I have it in the shade Ecru. Now I have another foundation as well because I saw Steph Toms use one of them and she seemed to like it. So I thought, oh, I'll pick it up. Um, but I didn't know which one it was. So fingers crossed, I guessed the color correctly. And if I, if this isn't the one that she tried, then, uh, It'll have to be the other one. I cannot get into this. Do you? Aha. Oops. I've ripped half the name off with it there. Now I've got a sticky lid. Um, oh, well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, so it does have a pump. Doesn't look like a bad colour match. But let's see. I'm using the stippling brush from the Lois Face 
I think I dipped too much into the foundation there. I only dipped in a bit. Okay, well this little bit, by the looks of it, is going to do my whole face. I'm not expecting like amazing coverage because it does only state um, that it is light to medium buildable coverage. Okay, a little goes a long way. I'm trying to work out if this has a smell also or if I can just smell that primer on my face. I think it might be the primer because it's I can smell it on the brush but not when I do that so I think if you're sensitive to smells you are you're not gonna like that primer <laughs> because I can still smell it now and I quite like the smell but then I quite like fragranced um, products so I know a lot of people didn't like the uh, original Huda Beauty foundation, the uh, the smell, the scent, but I loved it and I'm really sad that the new one doesn't have it, um, which is probably why I'm finding it so hard to like the newer one. <laughs> I know, that's so childish of me, but yeah. Everyone likes their own things. If we all like the same things, the world would be such a boring place. Okay, let's have a look close up. Okay, this is not looking bad at all. Wow, okay, that is looking really nice. You barely need anything, I still have loads on my hand here. So I will remember that for next time. Obviously I don't know how it's going to wear, but hmm. So in with concealer, I don't have a new one to try. So I'm just going in with the Too Faced Born This Way. More to use sculpting concealer. I know I love this. I have this in the shade Almond. The coverage wasn't amazing, but then I wasn't expecting it to be. It doesn't claim to be like amazing coverage. But yeah, I'm liking how it's looking on my skin so far. And I'm actually really enjoying this brush for doing foundation well, and concealer now. <laughs> this is really nice. Hmm, not bad, not bad. I'm going to do it under my eyes. So I'm going to go in with a, another one of the brushes from uh, Lowe's Cosmetics. This was also out of the uh, the face brush set. And I believe this one does state it is kind of for under eye concealer. Um, I always use the whatever I use whatever brush I use to blend out the concealer under my eyes I always do this area with because it's such a kind of narrow area and difficult to get a big foundation brush into this is really soft I'm actually loving the size I thought that I would find it a bit big But no, this is, this is working really well. I have to say, so far these brushes I am super impressed with and so happy that I picked up. I've wanted to for a while, um, but with bra Brack? But with Black Friday sales on, I, I just snatched them up because uh, they were a bargain and I am so happy I did. I don't think it's possible for Lois to kind of get anything wrong. Everything, absolutely everything I try is so good. And these brushes are no exception. Oh, 
Yeah, I really like how that's looking. I really like that. So I do actually have a new cream, cream bronzer. I can't speak to try today. And it is from Made by Mitra. It's one of the blush bronzers. And this one is in the shade Caramel Chisel. So I'm going to pop some of that. Oh, crikey. I don't know if that's going to be too dark or not. Hmm. This is the colour of it. I hope I'm showing you that right. Um, so yeah, let's just go in cautiously. I absolutely adore the blushes. The blushes. They are so nice. Okay, I don't think this is going to be too bad at all. Hmm. Okay, no, I, I take that back. I think I still need to go in slightly cautiously because it is leaning towards the darker side, but it blends out so beautifully. Just like the blushes. Ooh. So I didn't have a brush from the Lois collection because um, I did just get the face first, the four of them. I believe there are more um, face brushes. Um, yeah, these are the ones that... Well, the ones I've been showing you today are the ones that I picked up. And boy, am I glad I did. So this brush here is just, uh, this is my usual go-to for cream bronzer. I just think it works really, really well because it's, whilst it's densely packed, it's also slightly looser. So you can kind of spread it around more, but you can still get kind of a precise application. Does that actually make any sense whatsoever? Who knows? I'm just running a bit kind of on my jawline and under my chin. There's only the tiniest bit left on my hand, so I can't go overboard. Oh, so I'm going to quickly go under and make sure that we don't have any creasing. I do have a new powder to try and i've heard so many people talk about this powder over the years um and i don't know why it's taken me so long to try it i think possibly because i have no idea okay so the powder i have to try is the lottie london ready set go setting powder I have it in True Translucent and it took me forever to get the sticker off of that. It's got one of these sieve kind of things. Okay, so just taking a tiny bit. Please don't ruin my makeup. Okay, it's very matte. It is very matte. Does it say that? True Translucent. Hmm. Yeah, that has just completely taken any life from that area. But I can always add that back, so it's not the end of the world. It doesn't look like it's doing anything bad, though. Does it have a smell? No, I wouldn't really say it's got a smell. Yeah, I have to say, so far so good. Right, let's grab a big powder brush. I'm just going to, crack it's so finely milled. It's just, it didn't look like I had even that much on my brush. Okay. 
I really like that finish. I really like that finish. It does look very flawless. I'm liking this. Okay, so going in, going in, going under the eyes, I am going to take first Unknown, and I'm gonna take that on this uh, flat squared brush, and I'm just going to stamp that right against the lash line. Okay, and then stamping into Dream World, the purple map. I'm just going to go over the top with that. I am loving this look. Nice pinks and purples. I know purple is Marina's favourite, so I have a feeling. I have a feeling she's going to going to like this. Okay, and then with another one of these brushes from Lois, this is kind of long, flat, and fluffy. I'm going to go in with yeah courage and so we're kind of skipping the middle color skipping that brighter pink and just going straight in with the lightest I'm not worried that there's not kind of an inner corner and brow bone highlight shade because I have a new highlighter to try today that I am super excited about. I'm just taking just a bit at a time so I don't end up with uh, loads of fallout on my base. But it's showing up just beautifully. And this brush is doing the job beautifully. Well, so far with both this palette and these brushes, I have zero complaints. Okay, I am loving this. This palette, so far, I have used one, two, three, four matte shades and two of the shimmers and I'm loving it really really loving it there is a pressed glitter in here i did forget to mention that and it is this really amazing looking oh it's not showing up the same on camera it's like neon neon orange let me see i wonder if i put it if i swatch it on the back of my hand yeah, i don't know it's definitely not showing up but it's like yes yeah, orange and green flex yeah, it definitely is not showing up that way on camera. Okay, guys, so the new bronzer I have to try is from XX Revolution, and it is the shade Command. I love the packaging. This is so cute. It just looks really kind of luxurious, plus I like doing this. I'm so childish. Um, but this is what the shade looks like going to be using the big face brush out of oh crikey this is really really pigmented really really pigmented I'm just gonna madly tap that off and bronze up this is a very nice shade I think for me yeah this is super pigmented guys just tap in very slightly and then really tap off i know i like to go overboard with stuff but even for me i don't want to look like i've been rolling around in mud okay oh okay 
this is looking good i like that so so far so good okay so the blush i have is the zoeva visionary light multi-use face powder in the shade supreme i picked this up from uh tk maxx it was 3.99 and this is the shade it's so pretty oh okay yeah it is a more shimmery blush but then i quite like that and i find that if it if it ends up too shimmery for me which is very rare I can always go over with the powder brush and tone it down but I like I like to shine this is really pretty okay so I'd started getting really bored of kind of Zoeva's products having said that I do love the foundation I just think that they kind of got a bit boring for me I don't know but I think I may have been too harsh and then I'm just going to go in with the brush for the bronzer just to kind of melt them together a bit more oh okay this is looking really nice yeah my ears aren't staying under there so you're just gonna have to pop those okay this is another win Okay, and the highlighter I have to try. I'm super excited for this. It is the Be Perfect Polar Vortex in the shade Pink Icicle. And let me take away the little... It comes with uh, this little plastic thing on top just to protect it, but... Ooh, crikey. But look at that. How beautiful does that look? I am so excited to try this. So excited. Right. I'm using another one of the Lowe's Cosmetic Brushes. This came in the eye set. Um, these brushes I like for highlighter. And then just dip slightly in there. Oh, okay. That is beautiful. I might have to get some more shades of this because, oh wow, look at that. What a beautiful shine. It doesn't leave a cast. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm just gonna wax some more on because, why not? I don't need a reason apart from I want to. Yeah, these brushes are a winner. Every single one I've tried so far which is quite a few of them I have loved. Oh, this is so nice. Just applying some more on. All right. Blush a brush. Go over that. Not that it's going to tone it down. Not that I want it to, but it will melt them together a bit. okay i'm i'm just super happy okay so i had to take the headband off because i was getting too hot um but i'm back and i'm going to be using this highlighter also for my inner corner and brow bone and i'm going to be using this little brush from the eye set and i can't wait to see what this does i think this is going to yeah it's going to go perfectly look at that I think I'm definitely gonna have to pick me up some more of these highlighters in the different shades because wow this has impressed me along with pretty much everything I am liking the look of it all. Um, obviously with the foundation, etc. I don't know how well it is going to last on the skin. Um, if I remember when I am editing, in fact, editing Steph, you need to put on the 
right on the screen here um what the foundation looked like at the end of the day and then you won't have to wait <laughs> and rely on me remembering to update at any point because if you are not new you will know that i have a brain like a sieve Oh, I haven't always had a brain like a sieve, but particularly, this looks really nice. Just put a pop, a pop, just pop a bit <laughs> up under the brow here. But yeah, what's this saying? Brain like a sieve, as just <laughs> demonstrated. So yeah, I've actually reminded myself, my editing self, hopefully, hopefully I actually pay attention to myself. Not a sentence I actually thought I would say. <laughs> it's a bit of an odd sentence, isn't it? Um, right, I love how that's looking. So I do have a new mascara to try and it is the Barium Feature Length Black Mascara. It's a specially designed brush to lengthen and define lashes. So this is what the packaging looks like. It looks quite bougie and oh, it's very small. It's going to be great for the lower lashes. Um, let's see what this does. Okay, it's coating them all well. Hmm. I try not to make too much of a judgment on mascara just on the first go because I do tend to find that most mascaras like as they're as they've been opened a bit longer get better yeah this is not not bad not bad at all we we'll see I'll have to keep testing this out and to decide decide see what I think of it um I am going to quickly nip off to do my liner and lashes just purely because this video is going on forever already and yeah so i will be back in just a moment okay so liner and lashes on the winged liner is the duochrome cake it liner from Arshu cosmetics and this is the shade on i believe it's revolution um it's a duochrome and it is beautiful as you can probably tell um to tight line i use the lowest cosmetics um the pen eyeliner and the lashes are also from lowest cosmetics and these are in the style icon so for the lower lash line or lower waterline i've got this mark jacobs um Highlight highliner gel eye crayon. This one is in the shade. This is not easy to see. What shade are you in? Um, lunatic. Crikey, that took me forever. Um, it is a twist up, which is bizarre because it looks like it should be one you sharpen. Um, let's give this a go. I think this is going to, as long as it shows up, it's like a shimmery purple. Yeah, well, you can see there. Oh, yeah, I think this is going to show up lovely. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Hopefully, they're long-lasting because I love this colour. 
and it's so unique to my collection so just going to go back in with that feature length mascara from Barry M and I love that this is such a tiny brush with the lower lashes so I'm hoping that this doesn't transfer so far this mascara is not bad I mean there is not a mascara in the world that makes my lashes look amazing because they are short and stubby um, but this has done a pretty decent job of the lower lashes I think all that is left now is lipstick and the lipstick I have to try out is from Revolution and I can't even read what the name of that shade is boss I, will, I want to say it says boss but I'm not 100% sure love the packaging it's got the lips on the top and this beautiful rose gold and this is the shade it's like a really deep dark purple so fingers crossed okay not quite as dark as I thought it was going to be hmm. I feel a little misled oh, I was super excited for this and I don't think it's going to be anything unique to my collection I really like it. Yeah, it's looking a bit it's looking a bit darker now that I'm looking in the other mirror. But for some reason I thought it was going to be more blackened, but anyways, it's a beautiful colour. The formula seems really nice. Um there's nothing on the packaging to say whether it's long wearing, matte. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's particularly matte looking. It's definitely got a sheen to it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I have found some absolute gems amongst this, as far as I'm concerned. So let's just go back through the new things we tried. Okay, so first there is the Daydreamer eyeshadow palette from Josh Cosmetics. I think the packaging is absolutely gorgeous and definitely reflects what's inside um, you do have a mirror and I have tried one two three four five six of these six one two three four five six yeah I've tried six of these shades and I do have to say I I love the formula the mattes were so easy to blend, the purple, which as many of you all know can be particularly tricky to formulate so it doesn't go patchy, it didn't go patchy, it built up beautifully, it blended out beautifully, um, the shimmers, they're not your kind of high shine sparkle but they look beautiful, um, I have zero complaints and I cannot wait to play with it some more and yeah like I said Josh Cosmetics is a UK indie brand so yeah love this so the primer the flawless color corrector primer from Barry M it felt really nice going on it had a really strong floral smell floral scent um, which I actually really like but if you don't like scented products you're not gonna like it because it's not that subtle um but yeah very first impressions foundation went nice on top of it but who knows we'll have to try it out with a few more foundations before we can um yeah before we can tell so it says anti-redness pore minimizing smoothing mattifying 
Um, the last two, 100% agree with. The first two, I'm guessing I'll be able to see better when I'm editing. But yeah, I like it. So for foundation, I used the Body Collection England. I didn't realise that was an English brand. Um, Illuminating Liquid Foundation. It's light to medium, buildable coverage. I have the shade Ecru. Um, I would, yes, I would agree, light to medium, buildable. Um, the coverage wasn't fantastic, but again, it doesn't state to be good coverage. Illuminating, yes. I So far, I, I would say I'm really enjoying this. Um, you will have seen hopefully if editing me put it up on the screen at the time and um, what this was like at the end of the day so yeah so far it's looking good and it's such an affordable brand um in the uk they're sold in Woolco's. um yeah so that is that and then we have the made by mitchell blush bronzer and that is in the shade caramel chisel um same formula as the blushes which i absolutely love i love the shade of this so yeah i definitely love this because i know i love the formula of the blushes or blushes so yeah i love that so what came next what came next powder so the Lottie London Ready Set Go Setting Powder in True Trans True Translucent. That's a tongue twister. Um, so far really enjoying it. My skin felt super soft after I used it. Um, it's it's very mattifying, but not drying if that makes sense. It's really finely milled. First impressions. I love this too. Okay. Is there anything we don't like? I don't know. Um, comes next. Ah. And then there's the XX Revolution bronzer. This packaging is just... Isn't that amazing? Or am I just really... Is it just me? Or is that... I love that sound. Um, anyways, the packaging I love. As you can probably tell, the child in me comes out to play. Um, this is what it looks like and yeah it is beautiful it's super super pigmented um obviously it's got the imprints in it i don't know if that's going to show up on camera of uh, the x's um the packaging is kind of a star and the formula and color i would say yeah i really like it i am looking forward to trying that out some more and then we have the ha ah, so the zoeva visionary light multi-use face powder in the shade supreme the only problem with this is that you can see all the fingerprints all over this packaging it looks really nice until you touch it um but this is shade supreme this was from tk max three pounds 99 and highly worth it I really loved it it's a very shimmery blush but it blends out beautifully it looks beautiful on the skin I think so so yes that is a win in my eyes um, again again we've got this kind of packaging that smudges but I do think it looks it looks kind of bougie um, but this is the be perfect polar vortex in the shade pink icicle and this is the shade oh my lord this is beautiful the formula is beautiful this color is beautiful i definitely want to pick this up in some more shades um yeah this it looks so smooth on the skin doesn't leave a cast doesn't really emphasize um texture obviously everything if you've got a lot of texture nothing is going to completely cover it bar cement um, which I wouldn't recommend. Um, I haven't tried it myself either, so please don't try this at home. But yes, this highlighter is absolutely stunning. I'm just going to try and show you up close. Look at that sheen. And that is exactly what you get on your face. You can probably see that for yourselves. Right. 
then where are we? We are on to... Aha! Uh -huh. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Lunatic, I think. Um, this, I think, looks beautiful. I'm hoping it is long-lasting in the waterline because I do have two other shades of it also. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, fingers crossed it lasts. If it does, then it will be another win. Um, completely. So, the feature length mascara from Barry M. Um, the packaging's beautiful. It's quite weighty as well. It's like, yeah, bougie. I love the brush. Um, I'll just show you again. Um, so, I love this little brush it's uh one of those plasticky ones which again i love um f very first impressions it it did a good job um i will have to try it out a good few more times before i really make my mind up what what i think of it and i also need to wait and see if it transfers underneath so i will update you at some point I'm going to be using it, so you'll hear at some point what I think of it. That was really long-winded. So, the lashes, which I don't know why I'm showing you the box, but the box is really cute too. I love it. Bougie looking. It's theme for today. Um, they're in the style icon. They're really comfortable. They're so easy to put on, and I love them. I love them. I knew I was going to. I have seen Teresa, um, Teresa Mulham. I've seen her try um, a few of the Lois Cosmetics lashes. I will link Teresa's channel in the description box below. Um, when it comes to Lois Cosmetics, she's your go-to girl. So if you want to know anything more about the products, then head on over there and I'm sure she'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And finally, is it finally? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we've tried. So finally, this lipstick from Revolution. Let me have a look. It looks like it's going to stain. It's already on my teeth. I love the colour. The formula feels really thick, but then that might be... Um, where I had to layer it up to get the depth. We'll see. We'll see. I do love the colour and I love the packaging. Packaging's beautiful. Look at those lips. Absolutely gorgeous. So A star for packaging. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So I think I've taken up enough of your time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, any of these products, ones that you own, let me know in the comment section below if you have any of these, if you're going to be picking any up. And yeah, let's have a chat. So, if you like this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up, because that really helps me out. If you are new around here, hi, I'm Steph, I love colourful makeup, as you can probably tell. Um... I love supporting indie brands, I only use cruelty free makeup, what else is there to know? We have Karma Chameleon every Saturday, 3pm UK time, so if you want to chat live, join the fun. It's kind of like a virtual cafe environment and everyone that turns up is wonderful and we always have a laugh, so if that sounds of interest to you then yeah, be here for the live on saturday 3 p.m uk time and yeah that's about it if you're new and you love this please subscribe it would be wonderful to have you along on the journey with my wonderful family of subscribers so thank you all for being here today spending this time with me i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.